I gotta express something for the newcomers here. I am a strong believer that our current era allows YouTubers or content creators in general to create products that are just as good if not better than what you will see on traditional media like television, radio, newspaper, or film. And to this case is something that I can consider a proof of that, Atrocity Guide. This is a channel that caught me by surprise by its content and the way that it will be tackled. So what's the concept? Investigations are social events represented in a documentary format. That's it. Yeah, when you look at it at its core, the concept of the channel isn't something we haven't seen in the past by now, but just like most amazing things out there or even shows on television, you don't need to be a complex concept in order to be great, because it's not the concept what's amazing about her work, but rather the content inside the concept. The kind of stories that will be brought up by her are some of the most original stuff I've seen in a while, or at least tackled with the respect and detail they deserve, and with an also respectable conclusion for its audiences, making her a complete breath of fresh air from other kinds of documentary videos. From the story about a real-life superhero turning slowly but surely into the thing he fought against, to the story about a man living 18 years on the airport, he tackles her stories with as much information as possible, bringing all the important bits that are essential to show the story from start to finish, and while there is always a structure leading to its conclusion, she will tell the story as straightforward as possible without putting the topic in any particular light. Anybody will have made the video about the game scavenger hunt being shown as a bad idea that costs more harm than good and how could have they thought about it in the first place? Well, she will actually tackle it as a story that can show the reader how everything went the way it did which is what journalism should do personally. You see, one of the major rules of professional journalism is to not be opinion-based. Journalists are supposed to tackle the technical elements of something and talk about the execution of the project. But as we can see on some of the media in general, opinions end up dominating the objective elements. I'm not saying subjective elements cannot be added on a critical mindset, but they shouldn't be the dominant factor of it. An atrocity guide has definitely mastered this kind of style by just bringing a small thought during it, which applies more like an impression on the story so far rather than the major point of the topic she will tackle. One thing I can say for sure is that it's not a channel for everyone. The topics that get tackled while interesting are very mature in nature, so if you're just looking for something to have fun for a couple of minutes, I'd say that her channel is more based on information rather than entertainment. Don't get me wrong, her editing style is paced tremendously well, to the point where even if she has a 51 minute long video, you will not get bored by the visuals on the screen, because she will handle it on a very proper pace. But the star of the show is definitely the information she's bringing you about the topic in hand. So with that said, she's definitely a recommended channel for those that want to know about the interesting stories that the world has to offer.